Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be looking at the Geek Vape 1FC and the 1. Now, uh, before we get into this, we'll, we'll get this out of the way first. So the 1FC and the 1 are basically the same device. Difference being is that the 1FC, this one here, is a fast charge. So this charges at a rate of 2 amps and you can charge this in 15 minutes. This one charges at 1 amp and it takes slightly longer to charge. The one has a 780 milliamp hour battery in it, but the one FC has a 550 milliamp hour battery in it. The other way to distinguish the two is that the, the FC has three LEDs down the bottom here, whereas the one just has one down here. But that is it. That's the difference between the two. The pods and the way you vape them and everything is pretty much the same. So we're going to take the standard one out the way and we'll concentrate on the FC. Each device will come with a USB-C charge cable and once again the one charges at one amp and the FC charges at two amps so from dead that's going to be 15 minutes. You will get two pods with this kit. You'll get a pre-installed 0.8 ohm, which covers 12 watts to 16 watts, and there's a spare 1.2 ohm, which covers eight to 12 watts. These are easily removable. They're just held on by magnets like that. The weight for the device is 70 grams. It is a zinc alloy construction. Uh, the styling follows the, the whole Aegis type thing. They actually specify that in the, the bump they've sent on. This feels like it's rubber, but it almost looks like a, a leather. Uh, not a leather, but denim. Uh, but it is, yeah, it's rubber. Width across here is 22 millimeters and the overall height is 116 millimeters. Branding, all we have is Geek Vape down here and that is about it. We've got a fire button here, which you don't have to use when you take a vape. Uh, you can just inhale, take a draw, and that will also activate the device. But if you want, use the button, and it's five clicks to switch it on and five clicks to switch it off. And right now you can see I've got three lights here. One, two, three, four, five. And that is it, switched off. Five clicks again, and it's back on. So you have three different power settings on this device. So if I do three clicks, one, two, three, you can see that it's changing color here. So I've got red, green, and blue. And for red, you're looking at a 3.1 volt output, blue is 3.4, and green is 3.7. So red is the lowest, blue is the middle, and green is the highest. When you actually take a vape though, uh, you'll see that it's blue here just now. That means that I've got between 3.4 and 3.8 volt charge in the device. So if it comes up green here, that means you've got 3.8 to, you've got maximum voltage basically. You've got 3.8 to 4.15. Blue is 3.4 to 3.8. And if the red is on here, then it's less than 3.4 volts left. And just going back and a little reminder, you can see here on the non, fast charge one, we've just got one LED, whereas this one, we have three. As far as the pod goes, it's like, it, once again, it's held in with magnets. We've actually seen this design before. So that just pulls out like that. The only thing you have to remember is you can see you've got this little edge here. It's flush here, that goes to the back, and this bit goes to the front here, the cutout, and it just drops in. Please remember, just, you know, cotton buds, things like that, keep an eye out for condensation in here clean it periodically with a, a, you know, just a little cotton bud. Now the pods hold two milliliters of juice and you'll see on the bottom here, spin that round, sorry, it will tell you what the resistance is and it will tell you what the wattage range is. Don't worry about that. As always, start off with the lowest output. So before you put any pod in, kind of like put it to red so that it's at its lowest setting. You want to put your juice in, leave it to sit for 10, 15 minutes, pop it in at its lowest setting and break the coil in. And then you can adjust the taste. You know, if you want, if the flavor isn't quite there, then bump it up to blue or bump it up to green. But to fill this, it's just, it's dead easy. Just grab it like this and that pull off like so. You've got two holes here. You know, you're gonna fill through the big one. You've got an air release here so it doesn't choke. And then just take that cap, pop it back on and it clicks into place. 
Once again, once you've filled a brand new one, leave it for 10-15 minutes and then just pop it back in the device. It's not the easiest one to see how much juice you've got in. Obviously, it's a lot easier if you just pull the pod out and then you can see how much juice is in there. There is a small kind of viewing window there, but you know, day to day, it's not the easiest to see. Just pull her out, have a look and pop it back in. Um, just don't let it go down to the bottom. Uh, always fill it. I mean, my general rule of thumb is if I see that my pod's half full or just say, Two, it's only a third full, fill it with juice. That way the coil is going to last you a lot longer. And that's it really for the up close on the Geek Vape 1FC, which is the fast charging and also just the one. So just to be clear again, the fast charging one has three lights on it and you can charge this at two amp. It will charge in 15 minutes, but it only has a 550 milliamp hour battery in it. Whereas the standard one will take, let's just say half an hour, 40 minutes to charge it. Uh, you can only charge it at one amp, but it does have a 780 milliamp hour battery in it. And that's the differences between the two. So there we go for the, the one FC and the one, obviously the name comes from the fact like it looks like a one, that's where they're getting the name from. Um, they're going for this whole fast charging thing. I, <laughs> I'm going to be very blunt out the box here. Um, for I understand, you know, some people on the go, they want to charge something, get it charged as quickly as possible and get vaping again. Uh, do I want a 550 milliamp hour device that I can charge fully in 15 minutes? Or do I want a 750 milliamp hour battery mod that's going to vape for longer, but takes longer to charge as well. I really don't know. I really don't know. Um, I, I, I just, I, don't, I, I just don't understand why they're doing these two at the same time things, two devices. Um, but that's, hey, I'm not an international vape company, so I don't know the reasoning behind these things, but I can tell you how it vapes and how it feels to vape and, you know, shirt pocket, boom, in you go. It's a pod system. I'm not going to make out it's anything different to that. It feels well constructed, USB port on the bottom. I know not everybody's a fan of that. Some people like it on the side, but it's not like you're standing this up when you're going to be charging it. Um, pod. I've not had masses of condensation in here. This will vape with a 70VG and a 5050. I've tried it with both, zero issues on both fronts. And that's at the maximum power output as well. It's still handled 70VG, which is quite surprising. Uh, I suppose the important thing for people that are already vaping, they want to know what the draw is like. Well, the draw is like this. It's, it's what I would call a loose mouth to lung. It's not very tight. I was using, I was just drawing there. I wasn't pushing the button. I'll push the button this time. I've actually vaped with some devices that have been classed as restricted direct lung with a, a draw like that. It's, it is on the looser side for mouth to lung, uh, definitely. Um, it's, and if I didn't show you in the close-ups, there's just a little pinhole at the front. It's got a, like an S-shaped airflow going on with it. Um, you don't have to worry about covering that hole with your finger when you're firing. It, it just, it's out of the way. Um, there's no fancy screens. You've just got three LEDs or, or one LED as an indicator. And it's all as you want for a pod. Really, really simple. You get the two pods, two mil capacity, the 0 0.8 and the 1.2. Remember, fill the new pod, put it to one side, leave it for 10 minutes, make sure your device is on the lowest power output and then start vaping. Give it a few minutes and then adjust it to your taste. Put it on low, middle or high, um, but never ever put a, put a coil in there and start vaping on the highest power output. You'll just burn the coil out really quickly. Dead easy to fill, I have no issues with that. The cap comes up easy. Uh, the pod, you know, it, it doesn't fall off from the mod or anything like that, but it still comes away. Um, yeah, 
my only confusion, do you know, my, my only grumble or moan or, or anything that I have with this really is I, I don't, my, my, I can't wrap my head round why they have to release this FC and a non-FC version to the market at the same time when the non-FC one comes with a bigger battery, which is what you would want. Uh, also, please remember, you can't change the coil out in these pods. You have to buy the pod like this. Pricing, I don't know what that is as yet, but as usual with Geek Vape, yeah, they'll be, you'll be able to buy them from anywhere. Um, I'll have a go on the, just the, the standard one here. Vape's just the same. I don't find any difference between the 0 0.8 and the 1.2 on draw. Uh, this part of me wishes that the 0. Point, uh, sorry, the 1.2 was a bit tighter. Uh, that would have been nice. But the flavour, I didn't have a massive break-in period with either of these coils. Uh, in fact, the flavour was pretty much on point within the first few draws. And uh, maybe not the best, just my humble opinion, maybe not the best with a, a dessert flavour, but uh, with a fruity flavour of 50-50 that I was trying, it excelled with that. It was really, really good. But about average with a dessert flavour. And that is it for the Geek Vape 1FC and 1. I got sent these by Geek Vape Direct. Uh, they get released on the 21st, I think it is, of this month, November. And there will be lots of reviews out there. So please go and watch the other reviews. See what other people are saying. Go in the Facebook groups, the forums. Get all the feedback you can before you go out and buy anything. Thank you for watching this video and until next time, bye for now.